Hey, Brookville House of Worship, uh, Kevin Reardon here. Sorry I can't be with you tonight. I am uh, currently on the mend. I want to thank everybody who's prayed for me, first of all. But I definitely wanted to, uh, I wanted to uh, create a video uh, just to, 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 to bless the Brookville House of Worship. Um, I remember uh, about a year and a half ago, or however long ago it was, uh, Andy coming to me and kind of sharing his vision for uh, the Brookville House of Worship to have a, a, a body of believers that that uh, that that worship God uh, um, un, uninhibited and unhindered and uh, uh, and and without fear and uh, you know strong teaching and equipping and and I remember as. Uh, Andy shared his vision with me, just feeling like the Spirit of God leaping on the inside of me, uh, just feeling like a, a, a real strong yes in my spirit. Um, you know, just because I knew I knew Andy and I knew Tiffany and I knew what they were all about, and I knew uh, that 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 what the Lord had given them was definitely the Lord that had given it to them. Uh, and then with the uh, with the um, you know Dave and and Nicole coming alongside, it was a I just really felt like boy what a what a what a perfect package, uh, what a what a God thing. Um, I've been really blessed over the last year uh, to be able to come and minister at the Brookville House of Worship, and I always say that that Brookville House of Worship is one of my favorite places to minister because. The Brookville House of Worship is a place where God can be God, where the Spirit of God can do uh, what he wants to do. I love the fact that there's no box when it comes to the Brookville House of Worship, um, you know, where you guys truly have uh, made a place for the Spirit of God to come and dwell and to move. And so it's such a, it's always such a, a blessing for me to be able to uh to 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 be there with you guys but um i uh, i i just want to speak a, a blessing over you i was thinking god what scripture um what scripture uh should i should i share and what i keep getting is i keep getting psalm 1 where it talks about it says in psalm 1 it says blesses the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of scoffers but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on the law he meditates day and night. And when I think about the Brookville House of Worship, I think about uh, I think about um, their dedication to truth. I think about uh, their their dedication to the Word of God, um, and and just their dedication uh, to make a, to make a place where the where the presence of God can dwell. And it says in verse three, and this is really what I feel that the Lord is saying, the Brookville house of worship is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in the season and its leaf does not wither. In all that the Brookville house of worship does, it prospers. And I really feel like that's the word of the Lord. I believe that, uh, I believe that you guys have have started something really good that the that the uh, that God has been working through you and you've allowed the Spirit of God to move as He wills and as a result uh, there, there there's a really good foundation that's been laid but I feel like the Lord is saying as you continue as you continue to make me a priority as you continue to put me first as you continue to exalt and magnify my name, the Lord says, I'm going to expand your tent pegs. I feel like the Lord is saying, the Lord is saying that this is not just a church, but this is a movement. This is a movement. I'm creating a movement. And and Lord, I just thank you, Father, for the convergence. I feel there's a convergence in uh, in Brookville, a convergence that's coming to Brookville. I thank you, Father, that in my mind, what I see is I see uh, I see a, um, uh, a, a carburetor, a carburetor, uh, uh, an exhaust, like a manifold. I see, I see, uh, I see a bunch of pipes that are connected to the 
yeah, I'm not real mechanical, but I see that the Lord is that the Lord is adding more pipes, and I believe that that the brook, like the Brookville House of Worship, is a is a connecting place, and I believe that the Lord is going to be expanding your tent pegs. I believe the Lord is saying that as you are continue to be faithful to me, as you are con as you are faithful to allow my spirit to move, the Lord says you're going to see an even greater release of my presence. You're going to see an a greater release of discipleship, a greater release of worship, a greater release of uh, revelation, a greater release of miracles, signs, wonders, healing, deliverance. The Lord says, as you keep your eyes on me. And so right now, Lord, I just uh, I just thank you for the Brookville House of Worship. I thank you for Andy and I thank you for Tiffany and, and the friends that they are. I thank you, Father, for Dave and I thank you for Nicole, Lord God. I thank you for every person uh, that 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 uh, that sows their time, their money into the Brookville House of Worship in the name of Jesus. Father, I speak a blessing over that ministry. I speak a blessing over that people of God. And I thank you, Father, for a greater outpouring of your Holy Spirit like they've never seen before. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, that you would pour out your finances on that body. I pray that you would pour out uh, more love on that body. I pray that you would pour out more revelation on that body. I pray in the name of Jesus that there would be an outpouring of your spirit on that on that body. And I thank you, Father, for the ripple effects that, that are going out from that small building. I thank you for the ripple effects that are going out Lord, across, across Brookville and across that very region. I thank you, Father, for the people that you've called to be a part of them. And I pray, Father, that you would increase their numbers, Father, that you would increase their numbers, Lord, and that as you increase their numbers, I thank you, Father, for increased vision in Jesus' name. So right now, uh, Andy and Tiffany Dave and Nicole, Brookville House of Worship, I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless the work of your hands in the name of Jesus, and I bless Brookville in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you guys, I hope you're having a good time tonight. I hope that you're uh, that you're that you're getting wild tonight in worship. I hope that uh, I hope that uh, you guys have a have a great night. And and here's to many, 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 many more years of really, really fruitful ministry in Brookville and the surrounding areas. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. God bless you guys. I love you guys. See you soon.